To other stories now, police in the northeast region have beefed up security in Nalirugu and Gambaga following renewed chieftaincy violence between Mampusis and Kusasas in Boku in the upper east region. According to the police, the move is to forestall any reprisal as tensions continue to rise in the two Mampusi towns following the killing of two natives of Gambaga and arrest of elders of the Mampuru king. Regional Public Relations Officer ASP Robert Anibik said the police are also engaging with various leaders of the youth to calm the situation. Meanwhile, the youth of Nalirugu have massed at the palace of the overlord, demanding the release of the palace elders who were arrested for officiating a funeral ceremony in Boku. Ilasu Tanko is our correspondent and he joins me live. Ilasu, what is the link between these communities in the northeast region and the chieftaincy violence in Boko? Hello? Hi, Ilasu, if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. All right, now, what is the link between these communities in the northeast region and the chieftaincy violence in Boko? Well, we understand the uh, two gentlemen that died in the violence that started yesterday on Monday. Uh, they were they are they were natives of Gambaga, and so the Gambaga youth are agitating for the killing over the killing of these two young men. And in Nalirgo as well, we understand that the, some palace, some some elders at the Overlord Palace were sent to Boko. On their way back, they were arrested. According to our sources, they were arrested by uh, police in the Balgatanga and have since been transferred on the orders of the national security. So we understand these two uh, elders of the Nairi are currently uh, with the national security in Accra. And so that has also sparked agitation in the Nalirgu town as well. As I speak to you now, the two towns are very tense. I can see youth. Uh, coming uh, on motorbikes, riding from Gambaga to Nalirgu. And there are also uh, dozens of youth currently massed at the chief palace, the overlord palace. And also some youth have also massed at the regional coordinating council. And the police are saying that it's a very tense situation. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's exactly what is happening here. As I speak to you now, people are reluctant to come out because yesterday in the night the youth had earlier besieged the chief palace, demanding the release of these two palace uh, these uh, palace elders. And this morning again they have uh, besieged at the palace, mm. demanding that these uh, palace elders be released. Uh, uh, they are threatening mayhem. And chaos as well. Yeah. And 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 like I said, the the situation is not different. Where uh, in Gambaga as well, the youth there are also very agitated, uh, massing up at the Gambaga chief palace, and also demanding justice for the two individuals that died in the violence in Boko. Now, Elias, so let's talk about the security arrangement. Can you explain what exactly it's like in the region now? Well, it, 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 it's still a very precarious situation. The regional minister has been working since last night. I've been on phone with him. He has been working to uh, ensure that the situation is calm. Uh, this morning, I spoke with the police PRO in the region. He's also said that there, there will be some men on the streets to prevent the reprisals and also to de de-escalate the situation. But as I speak to you now, I am on the streets. I have not seen any police. Uh, 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 deployment on the street. Uh, I'm here to get to Gambaga uh, 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 to look at the situation. But in Nalirgu on the street, there are no police officers, there are no military officers, only uh, agitated youth and, 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 and a tense situation here in, in Nalirgu. All right, now give us more details about the demands of the youth at the Palace of the Overlord. Well, first of all, they are demanding that these palace elders that we understand are currently being held by national security in Accra, they should be released. Uh, we don't know what they went to Boko, what the, their mission in Boko, but our sources say they were sent there by the overlord himself, the king of Mampurgu, and they were subsequently arrested in Bolgatanga. And so the youth are demanding that 
this uh, uh, policy release because according to them, they, they think it's a disgrace or disrespect to the, the, the Mamprugu overlord. And the youth of Kambaga, on the other hand, are also demanding justice for these two individuals that we understand were killed in the violence in Boko. Uh, what is currently sparking the tension, according to our sources, is that there's a conflicting report as to whether or not these youth have been buried. Eh? Initial, uh, initial arrangement was to bury them in Boko, not in Gambaga. Mm -hmm. uh, but we understand that there have been conflicting reports. Others say they have been buried. Others say they have not been buried. And so the youth in Gambaga are saying that uh, uh, they need the bodies in Gambaga uh, if, not, if they, 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 they are unable to bury them in, in Boko, they should be brought to Gambaga for the burial. Now there's this conflicting report that we are getting mm -hmm. and, and that is a sparking or fueling the anger in Gambaga. All right. Thank you very much, Elias Tanko. We'll get back to you as and when there is an update there. But the National Peace Council has called for a ceasefire in Boko after the renewed clashes led to the death of about three persons. The council, through a statement, has urged the Upper East Regional Security Council to investigate the incident while opening lines of dialogue among feuding parties to cool heads. Chairman of the Council, Reverend Dr. Ernest Edu Jemfi, the short, says the sure way of ensuring peace is to resuscitate the Boku Inter-Ethnic Peace Committee, whose track record proved that they were able to maintain the peace between 2013 and 2017. My colleague, Kweko Santi, joins me with more from the statement via Zoom. Kweko, what does the statement say? All right, Mapito. So the National Peace Council, which is currently uh, with officials in the region, have been informing um, the nation about some of the information that is going on in there right now. They say that in the early hours of Monday, 27th December, there were some gunshots leading to the loss of lives and properties in the area. They are also saying that they were able to present some reports to the Boko Inter-Ethnic Peace Committee which was set under the auspices of the National Council to facilitate the peace process in Boko. They are also urging all the warring factions to come together to be able to dialogue and find some solutions to the issue. But just after this statement was issued, I spoke to the National Chairman, uh, National Director of Peace Council, who has been informing me that some of their officials were actually caught in the crosshairs and they have been lifted to Accra for some consultation and for some re-strategizing before they will be sent back there. They have been involved in the efforts to be able to de-escalate the situation and to ensure that both sides of this chief tensity conflict comes to the table to negotiate. And so for now, what Peace Council is saying is that the, uh, the various factions in the region should put aside the various entrenched positions that they've taken mm -mm. and come together and negotiate. All right, thank you very much. That's uh, my colleague, Kweko Santi, giving us uh, details about that statement.